Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Parkside Cabin Rentals. Now is the time to book your holiday stay in the Smokies. ParksideCabinRentals.com is the place to go when looking for the perfect place to stay in Sevier County. And they have a three-night stay in the Smokies waiting for our year-long picks winner, Carl Braden. Congratulations to Carl. Now, it was a tie at the top between him and Steve Plunk. Unfortunately for Steve, Carl got his votes in a little quicker throughout the course of the year, so he gets the tiebreaker. But because Steve tied with him, we're going to send him some, we'll give him the home game and some consolation prizes. <laughs> but uh, Carl Braden, you can reach out to me via the, the email. I, I emailed you last night, or I can uh, continue to try and track you down. But we'll get you together with the folks at Parkside Cabin Rentals. Thanks to everybody for playing along all season. We try and do something a little different this year and let you play with our Cavalieris line. By the way, kudos to Chuck, too, this week. He put the line at 24 and a half, and it was 24. He split our panel as well. So congratulations to Carl. Thanks to everybody for playing. We do appreciate you watching the show and taking part. All right, let me welcome in the next two VFLs. Right down here in a nice-looking, kind of a Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. theme coach, <laughs> uh, Daniel Hood, right here. Ooh, look at the, the is that uh, velour. Is that suede? What is this? Sterling Hinton. <laughs> it's good. Uh, Sterling Hinton, Daniel Hood, thanks, you guys, for being here. This segment's called The Stole Train, as you can tell. We're keeping our, our speed up today uh, for the Spanish soccer. Spanish soccer. On delay. All right. Oh, yeah, there we go. This is the Stoll train. Fall Captain Mike Stoll here. Usually you ask the question. You sent me this question yesterday, this topic, but I'm going to throw it back at you, let you start it, and we'll get everybody else to chime in. What position group improved the most from September to now? Yeah, great question, and, and I always think about <laughs> <That's good. laughs> This is a great question. This is a great uh, question I who, sent you. Who always, you know, you, you look at through the season, you want to see improvement. Like, you watch Georgia. They improve through this. You watch the good teams. They improve position-wise through the season. So I started thinking, okay, from Tennessee's perspective, which position group did you really see start off and make, make good strides? And, and so for me, that's a tough question um, because you saw – you know, minimal improvements in my eyes. Mm -hmm. um, I think the running backs, they started great, but they continued to just develop. And, and, and three solid running backs that could start at other SEC schools. And when their name was called, they stepped in and they contributed, other than probably Missouri, which was a bust. Um, but other than that, I saw them improve the most through the season, just staying there and making running it backs. All right, Daniel, yep. give me a signal. Where are you going? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I got to disagree with that one, just because I didn't like how the Vols stopped using Dylan Sampson late in the season, didn't give him a lot of carries. Okay. Um, it, I thought the punter probably increased the most, yeah. game over game. But <laughs> the position I want to go with, I think, is your starting quarterback, Joe Milton. I think from where he was at the first game. To how he finished the season, I thought he was your most improved throughout the season. All right, so we got a quarterback vote over here. Where are you going, Sterling? I, I, I would have said run, running backs also, but they, they set the stage. My group is the defensive backs. People were down on our DBs in the beginning of the year. And poor Florida, I mean, they, they just went all over everybody. But then after that, they came along. And we started getting interceptions. And Kamar had it. We realized how much he was missed yeah. now that he's missed. Yeah. And uh, I'm going with the defensive backs. Okay, Kevin, you're a tough – you're a tough grader. You're a guy who was a uh, scout in the NFL for a couple of franchises. <laughs> was there a position group that improved from September to December in your eyes? Yeah, I mean, so obviously with the running backs, and I get what Daniel's saying about, you know, his use, but when he was out there, when he got his opportunities, he shined. So, I mean, the, the running backs, the easiest one. They've been the best position group on the team the entire season, basically from start to finish. Uh, the defensive line would be next. Because even, even guys like um, like James Pierce and his ascension and Joshua Jones and obviously what Tyler Barron was doing, you know, yeah. they weren't getting the sacks, but they were getting clean rushes. And one thing as an NFL scout, I graded clean rushes more so than sacks because sacks are circumstantial. You know, is the, is, is, the, right. is the pass rush and the coverage tied together. But when a guy has a one-on-one -on -one and he's winning, that, that tells me something. So um, there, were, there were a number of clean rushes up front. Maybe not as many down the stretch as we wanted, but I mean, but Ronnie Garner does a heck of a job with those guys. I'd, I'd have to say the defensive line. All right, now let me throw out some some other thoughts for you. This has to be like quick, so you're just gonna give me the yay nay nods. Yes, <laughs> um, uh, the uh, we didn't mention offensive line. That's almost an incomplete because I thought they had to do a lot of work with a constant shuffle of guys. Yeah. So I give them credit for that, but I don't know that they were the most improved simply because it was a different five every week, it seemed, for most mm -hmm. of the time. Yeah. 
Uh, you're an offensive lineman. You disagree with me? You I, see I, you're them down? Yeah, I, I would like to Quickly. see them improve more, yes. They, I don't think they improve throughout the season, even though if they're at different positions, you're still an offensive line. You should see improvement. I didn't see tremendous improvement. Okay, so you expected the same out of Jackson Lampley and Austin Nichols. <laughs> Okay. Uh, one game, go. one game, but <laughs> go. it's Vanderbilt. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in terms of least improved, am I being fair if I say linebackers and receivers? Mm. The silence mm. says I'm being fair. Mm. I, mean, I, I would say receivers. Some of that is due to attrition, but then. Yes, that's true. That, they also had injuries, yep. Yeah, but, but some of it is just, I mean, these guys, they didn't like, I mean, we still saw drops yesterday, right? Yep. Like, and you talked about Squirrel White. <laughs> And the marvelous game he had, right? Yeah. I mean, was, you know, I mean, so so, yeah, it's a it's it's a fair take. Is it a fair take? <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. That's tough for me. That's tough for me, John P. <laughs> okay, fair. I I I don't think it's fair just because I think in today's system, right? There's a catapult system that you can use to help prevent injuries playing football if you're monitoring the kids' data. Um, like last year, Duke led the led the country okay. in injury prevention. So okay. I'm going to give my pass just because of I think Tennessee needs to do a better job of keeping the guys healthy. All right, very good. All right, thanks, guys. <laughs> when we come back, uh, and let's take a look at the poll right there. You see it. You can leave the music up. That's fine. I hear it playing. Worth every penny. Is it 60%? I did not expect that. 60% of you say he's worth the $9 million bucks. Pretty good start, 27%. Only 11% say you're not impressed by Josh Heupel so far. Only 2% say he's not the guy. Keep giving us your answers. I want to see if that changes at all. When we come back, just how big of a disappointment was the 2023 regular season? We got some surprising numbers for you. Come on back next.